you guys. All right, now let's uh, break this into the homework first. I don't think I've done a video of just the homework yet. So here's the thing you need to know. Uh, first off, there's three running pieces. You've got uh, something that's got a little bit of an interval base. Uh, we've got something just strictly for time, and another strictly for distance. So if we kind of read it out as it is on the on the board or on your Zen Planner ABC. A is our interval. So what it says is you're going to run for 40 minutes. For 4 minutes, you're going to run easy, and then the following minute, you're going to run at a higher intensity. Uh, and you're going to repeat that for 8 times. The goal would be, and there's a few things. One is we want to have a pace in which we can run that becomes recovery for us. Right? Where we can kind of get into a good rhythm, control our breathing, and allow our heart rate to settle and allow us to do that for extended periods of time. And conversely, is we'd like to have, we have to be able to run paces and sustain paces that's above a job, above like, hey, let's go for a run. Talk to your buddy. Um, those paces, if you do this run with somebody, there is probably a greater chance you're not at the same pace as your partner than there should be that you guys are exactly the same. Whether it's the jog is different, or the intensity is different, it just should be different okay? because we're all pretty different. So the goal on that run, like I said, is to make sure that one minute of running that you actually pick up the pace. That you're looking at your clock, you're like, oh man, 50 seconds, I gotta do this for 10 more seconds, and then just slow back down. So that's running work number one. Uh, number two is that 5K at a moderate pace. So this is where, uh, to me, the, the five kilometer run is a pretty perfect distance. Okay, if anyone's a runner out there, uh, if you're gonna run, and you can run at this at a relatively high intensity, uh, that would be great, you can sustain a high effort. Today is a moderate intensity. So this should be below that kind of trotting with your buddy and just chatting away. You should be running a little bit quicker than that. So that you can have a few sentence talks here and there, but if you continue that out, you really start to lose your breath, and you find yourself slowing down. Okay, so that would be your moderate intensity. And then lastly, we've got a one hour run at an easy pace. Um, for this one, I'm actually less concerned of what your, uh, what your intensity is. I feel as though that those have been hitting the, hitting the pavement and the trails for a while now. You want to run for an hour and you can hold a, a quicker pace, then that's great, right? And if you're kind of, no, 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 you know, haven't really run that long yet, then definitely consider that a pretty easy go around. So, uh, those are the three running pieces of the week. As we get into the accessory, uh, a couple of things we have is uh, 100 Kang squats. He can definitely hold on to a little bit of weight. But here's the thing on those Kang squats. Maybe, maybe, I, got, maybe I got too much logo wear on today. Um, let me just ditch that for you guys. All right. So in the Kang squat, the biggest error we see is it is a good morning first. So I'm going to hinge over. The next, the first area we see is people squatting with their torso fully tipped over. That's not how we squat. So it's a good morning first. Right? Then you're going to sink down into a, hopefully a low parallel squat, nice and deep. Then you're going to pull your hips up, pulling the knees back as far as you can, and standing up. So it's good morning, fix the squat, create the good morning, and stand. Okay, so 100 of those, as always with our accessory pieces, is a few. Sets, a few rep, uh, few sets that you can manage. Uh, number two on there, uh, three sets of unbroken hand release push-ups. So that's pretty easy to come about. You're going to do as many in a row as you can in the hand release push-up without any kind of semi-break, pause, you name it. Once you kind of feel the need to do that, no problem. You just stop. You're going to give yourself, uh, what do we say? Uh, you're going to give yourself a few minutes rest, and then you're going to repeat. Okay, if uh, we would we would hope that the technique you use, so meaning if you're gonna scale it, right, is that uh, or if you're not gonna scale it even, is you can get around at least ten reps. Okay, if you're scaling it, I don't think you should be getting over twenty-five. Um, but don't start with an RX or uh, hand release push-up on your feet in set one, knee push-up in set two, and then I don't know in set three. The, the goal is that you stick with the technique you're using for all three. Even if that means your last set, you can only do a handful, that's no problem. Uh, next on there, we have 100 uh, 
single leg glute bridges total. Uh, I'm going to quickly demo this because uh, there's a technique that we often use to try and create hip stability. In this case, we're going to throw that technique out the window and we're going to try to emphasize a greater range of motion. So the technique we often employ when we go single leg is we encourage, can you keep your femurs parallel as you drive up? This time I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to have your foot higher up so that you can really drive your hip higher. So you're going to drive your hip higher. And as much as this is 100 in a row, don't go super fast. Right? And hopefully we've learned a lot about the, uh, what tempo work offers as far as strength training. Right? The slower we go, uh, yeah, the, the harder it is going to be. So 100 total. Uh, next our power raise and our seated external rotations. Uh, hopefully we're okay with this one as far as technique goes, but we would have right, our seated external rotations, right, nice and controlled, up to neutral, controlled, up to neutral, and then we get into the power raise where we're gonna lay on our side, we're gonna come up, stack, control, so that would be our, okay, our shoulders. We have then an overhead weighted sit up. Okay, we're gonna try and hold this overhead as best as we can. We could anchor our feet if we want to. We could use the ab mat. What we don't want to see is hitting your arm here and throwing the weight to to propel you up. You gotta try to hold that weight still, and hopefully, right for those. It's pretty hard for you, guess what? Don't hold the weight overhead or hold the shoe. Um, and then lastly, three sets, max wall sits. So in the max wall sits, don't brace, right? Even if it means less time, uh, try to keep your 90 degree angles here, hips to knees, knees to floor, right? Um, so there we go, that's our homework, May 4th to 10th.